Oh, well. Well, I didn't think you were going to do that. Hey, Cheryl? This little guy is just changing. I've been watching him off and on all day, and he snuck in there on me, but I'm getting some good video. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh, man. He's been sitting there doing almost nothing all day. Yep, his skin just fell off. <laughs> is he turning into the chrysalis? Yeah. Wow. And he just, like, got rid of a part of his body. They, he, they, they shed the skin. They molt the skin. And it goes up towards the point where they're attached. Holy and then it God. falls off. This is some great footage. I thought I didn't think he was going to do it today. I thought he was because it's been in the shade now, and they, it seems like the the temperature, the heat, gets them going. Triggers them, you know. And I thought, well, it must be cool enough. Maybe he'll last overnight. But but I think I'm getting really good video of this one. So yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow, so he's just going to do that until he gets all covered up, huh? Well, he's, he's, he basically that shell just hardens. Then. Yeah. He'll, he's already shed. He, I guess they change into that under their, their caterpillar skin. Yeah. Then at some point, then when they, they yeah. shed it off, now he'll wiggle around a little bit more. And if you, you know, he's probably, he's kind of translucent now and clear. So he'll, um, He'll harden. It'll harden and solidify, or, or darken and dry out. I guess is probably a better, better word for it. Yeah. Um, and we had two wow, batches that's today. Two two butterflies emerged today. Yeah. While your mom and I were out, while your mom was watching, you know, she was watching him. Yeah. And, and one right up here snuck out, <laughs> and then another one back there snuck out too. Jeez. So and and the interesting thing was, I've seen them mate before. You know, they mate tail to tail. Yeah. Both of them, another butterfly came up and mated with them like before their wings were even really dry. Oh, wow. and I didn't know that. I'd never seen that before. I'd seen them mate before, but I didn't realize That's they huh? got jumped on right here. <laughs> I was like, man, child molesting butterflies there, dude. Oh, man. That's wings dry. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I know. Like, At least whoa. they don't get their wings out first. Yeah, dude, really. So. Poor little thing. Can't yeah. fly away. But... <laughs> the defenseless stage, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good guy. So yeah, I mean, it's been all kinds of stuff going on. Wow, it looks like it's done. Jeez. I think so. Yeah, they flail around there for a little bit, and then they kind of settle down. And looks like yes, I mean, they're and they're, sometimes they're different colors now. Like he's got red. It's almost yeah. like he's got a little blood on it, but I've never seen that before. That is interesting. He does have a red tongue. Yeah. And then the other ones, I've seen them come out kind of light green or kind of translucent. And then there's that cool blue one. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I've, that's the only one of those I've ever seen. I've never uh, that that was just the coolest color ever. That's so cool. Yeah, I wish I had caught him a little bit sooner. You could have seen him start, just start, but it's, he sits there looking like a butterfly or like a caterpillar hanging yeah. upside down. Then all of a sudden, it's like he starts moving around. He start they start pulsing, you know, kind of like uh, you know from the top down, huh. and then the skin starts going up, and it's like even when I watch it. You know, kind of no, yeah, frame on the video, good. it's like, how does that happen? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Right? It's just, it's, it doesn't it, make sense. <laughs> it's a very, very interesting life cycle. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Wow. And now he's done. And then I was going back through some of that, and they do have a series on that, on the thumb drive that they gave you. Yeah. There's a series of the, one of the, the butterflies emerging from, I, I must have been taken like every couple of seconds or something like that. Yeah. Cause, but if you watch it, in like a slideshow where it fades into each other it's not quite a stop motion or you know not quite a, right, it's not a time lapse still, but yeah, it's, yeah. you can still get an idea of, of what they're huh. doing it's, that's so cool yeah so all day man all day i've been watching him and reset the camera because the camera like shoots like four gigs of video and then it shuts off yep, yep. and i keep coming out and going ah, i don't want to miss it i don't want to yep, miss it yep like, so you have to like recycle it yeah so i got it this time yeah you nailed it yeah that should be real, and I and upload. I was trying to be real careful with the exposure today too. You know that'll be good. That would be, uh, you know, with that video. Hmm. I wonder if there's any like, 
like the butterfly conservatory in PG or something where you could know. like mail that to and be like, hey, can you explain what's going on here? That might be. Yeah, I've looked up the life cycle of them before. Yeah. And it, I found a little bit, but not anything in, in real great depth. I would be really interested to know what's happening in there. Cause in they, the inside. They huh? don't, you know, I mean, it's like, I, under, I, I can kind of understand a caterpillar doing like one, like, okay, they spin a cocoon, they go inside, they change it to a butterfly. That's, that's awe-inspiring enough. Right, right. But they do it twice. They do caterpillar, then turns into that intermediate stage, and then it and then cocoons itself. transforms again. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. like wait a minute, <laughs> yeah. this is really complicated. And how is this? Yeah. How did this evolve? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? You sh yeah. What were the yeah, what were yeah. the steps of this? Yeah. You know? what, how was this the surviving yeah. evolutionary tact? Yeah. It's like when I was talking to you know Scott and I were talking about that, and it's just like. It's really strange. Yeah. I mean, you know, to just to completely transform into another, yeah. another life form, basically. Yeah. This isn't a growth that you know. This isn't something where you like you look at a at a cell that divides into a fetus that de develops into right. a child and grows into an adult human and yeah. and it changes along the way. This thing does that, and then all of a sudden it stops. And makes a complete 180 and trains into something completely different. Right, and it goes from like a land creature to a flying creature. Yeah, yeah. Where does different that come from? How the? <laughs> yeah, it's just the other thing that's interesting, like that, are you know, obvious, like frogs, like they lay tadpoles yeah. and yeah. then they change their breathing system. Right. But they Her look. Legs. But they represent, even when they're a frog form, they still kind of have the same representation. Yeah. Of when they're um, mm -hmm. a tadpole. But butterflies, they don't look anything like it. No, <laughs> they're just like complete. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a. It's pretty crazy. Like you say these guys, these guys just. I mean, the butterflies by themselves are pretty mind-boggling, but these guys just think completely blow my mind. Cause yeah. It's so cool that I planted that passion vine like 15 years ago. Really? It was it was, it was a house plant I bought at the nursery over on no 68. Kidding. Really? And then I was like, I'm planting this here because I want it to grow. And my mom was like, I, I don't know if it'll survive. And now it's That's like this. Ass and now yeah. there's butter. Who, <laughs> who would ever guess that you'd have a whole yeah. science channel here? The other, the other thing, I don't know if they've ever told you, if you're ever out in your back fence, you'll notice it. You know that big like uh, palm tree looking uh -huh. thing sticking yeah. out of it? Yeah. That was another house plant that I got. Really? And I planted it out back there because I was like, Scott waters every day and there's yeah. all this water right here and I bet you there's fertilizer and stuff. Sure. And I was like, I bet if I plant, because I wanted a palm tree when yeah. I was younger. Yeah, that, I thing, was like, that I, thing's killer, man. So I, I planted it and it wasn't even above the fence line. It took several years to get to the fence line. Uh, I, I and then once it, it, yeah. once it hit there, the it sun hit it, uh, yeah, uh, and they tried to mow it down one time, and it's got all these scars, but it thickened the trunk up, and it just grew <laughs> even stronger. Oh yeah, but yeah, these are you're seeing some of my little like curious oh, wow. plant projects. How long have you guys been here? Um, I think ninety nine or ninety eight. Okay, I think you got okay. You're just a couple years before because we we moved in in two thousand. Yeah, I think ninety nine okay. or ninety eight. Okay. I yeah. got, for some reason, I thought you guys had been here even longer than that, but I didn't, you know. Yeah. I just knew you were here when we got here. And... Yep. No, I don't think it was terribly long after. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that vine, that vine has been a source of great entertainment and pleasure. I mean, yeah. times when it's grown all the way around and had the whole, the whole patio here was like a jungle. I remember yeah. seeing it one time where it was like going across that way. Oh, yeah. It was all the way down here and across. And <laughs> I, got it all the way, I got it all the way back over to here. Wow. And was training it over that wall to make the, to enclose the whole thing. Yeah. Um, sorry. What do you think thing. happened to it? Though? I, I, I can you only guess that it's got on something side? to do with the water, with the drought. Yeah, know? yeah. Because, you know. Yeah, I remember it used to be insane. Yeah, and, and after we had that rain a few weeks ago.